Hey, this is Digital Bike Computing. We've got ourselves a pack of these new Brilliant Smart Wi-Fi Globes. Uh, this is a three pack. They're fully compatible with your, you know, with your Alexa and with your Google uh, voice commands. I don't see any compatibility yet for the Apple HomeKit and Siri, um, but you do have IFTTT, if this then that. So you can actually have plugins, I guess, into the Apple range. But the great thing about these is that they are super, super cheap compared to the higher end ones out in the market. This three pack in Australian dollars was $39 for the three, which is amazing, uh, fully compatible with your, as I said, with your smart home uh, devices over Wi-Fi. Their color, you can adjust over millions of different sorts of colors. You can dim them, brightness up and down which is actually really good for three globes to spend the amount of money that I spent, which is super cheap. So we're gonna open these up, we're gonna configure them. I'm using the Alexa suite of stuff, so we're gonna be testing that on that, configuring it on that, and uh, we'll see how they go, and we'll let you know whether they are worth it for the cheap price that they, you know, that they are. So we've just opened up our box. We've got our three different globes right here. Uh, they are quite heavy, which is nice. Uh, I wasn't, conf you know, I wasn't expecting them to be as heavy as they were for a cheap globe um, compared to say some of the other ones, the LifeX ones, for example, which are a heavier globe. These actually do feel like they are pretty uh, good quality. Inside the pack, you've really just got the three globes in there with a instruction manual on how to use them, how to configure them. Uh, we're going to go and configure these now. There's really not much else in the box. Three globes, super cheap. Let's set them up. Okay, so once you've got your light in discovery mode, which is where it should be blinking, we want to now go to the App Store and download the application. So we're going to go into the App Store here on our phone. And we're going to look for Brilliant. It's actually shown up there on the top, Brilliant Smart. And here is the app. Now, because I've already downloaded it, it's got a little cloud there. Otherwise, you'll have to get it from scratch, put in your password, uh, and then you will download that application. So let's just go ahead and download that application. Okay, so that is finished. Let's just click on Open. Now the very first time it's gonna ask you if you wanted to use Bluetooth or not. So certain um, brilliant uh, smart products will connect over Bluetooth, others over Wi-Fi. So you may wanna give this app permission to use your Bluetooth um, for future applications. Um, I'm gonna say don't allow around notifications. Now if you don't have an account, you'll need to go and configure uh, or create a new account. So you can say register right there. In my case, I've already got an account, so I'm just gonna go and log in. Agree to the privacy policy and throw in my email address and my password. Now you'll see that I've already got a light that is shown up in here. This is because I've configured another light already within the application, but we're going to go and create a brand new light right here. So I'm going to say plus and I'm going to say, well, you've got two options. You've got add manually or search for device. I'm just gonna say add manually um, because I find that it's a little bit more reliable. Sometimes when search for device is on, it may not always find the light. So I'm gonna say add manually and I'm gonna go down to lighting Wi-Fi there on the, on the right. Now remembering that your light needs to be essentially in discovery mode and be flashing. Uh, so if it's not flashing, make sure you get it into that flashing mode by flicking the on off switch a number of times until it is flashing and then you click on lighting Wi-Fi and it's telling you here what to do and I want to confirm indicator rapidly blink. All right, so just letting me know that the light is blinking. So I'm going to say confirm down the bottom. I'm going to enter in my Wi-Fi password, which essentially is going to send and lock that Wi-Fi password, my Wi-Fi, um, my actual network. It's going to say connecting. It says place your router mobile phone device as close as possible. Uh, it doesn't have to be as close as possible. Okay, so my light has actually now stopped blinking and you'll see that down the bottom, it says device found. So it's registering the device now to the smart cloud and initializing the device. So if your light is continuing to blink, it means that it hasn't found it. So do that first and there you go. 
device has been added successfully. Now, if you do not see this, you'll have to repeat that process, get the light back into discovery mode and go through that process of adding the light manually, throwing in the Wi-Fi password and then try that again. Your light should stop blinking. And if it has and it's picked it up, great. We can now say done and go on to the next step. So here is my light. Now you can test this right now by switching the light on and off, just from the bottom, off and on. Okay, now you obviously won't see this, but my light is actually turning off and on. And then I can adjust the brightness. On the top, I can also change the color to whatever color I want. And that is working how it should be, which is really, really good. And there are also these things called scenes. And they're just different sorts of themes that you can configure to, um, I guess, cater to the mood that you're wanting to be in. Click on edit and you can see that you can change some stuff in here. Essentially, it's going to be scene color is orange. It's going to be flash mode is static. And you can sort of customize some of these and create your own ones. Um, on the bottom, you've got your schedule. So you can create a schedule uh, if you want the light to turn on and turn off or do something specific at a particular time. But as we said, we're not going to be controlling this light directly through the app, even though you can do that. We're going to be controlling this light through the Amazon Alexa uh, suite of stuff. So now we've picked ourselves a light. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, customize this light. So I'm going to change its name. I'm going to say the name of this is now uh, Kitchen. Right. Save. And there's a few other options down here which we're not going to go into. But we, what we are interested in is trying to connect it into the, uh, the Alexa fleet of stuff right there that we've got. So go ahead and click on that. Now you will have to have the app installed. Okay. So do get that app installed. The actual Amazon Echo well, Alexa app uh, installed. So let's actually go ahead and actually open up the, uh, the Amazon uh, Alexa app and then go from there. So I've got it down here in my bottom corner. So you'll see that I already have a number of other devices in here, uh, some other rooms already configured, uh, but now we need to obviously add the new brilliant smart devices into here. So on the, uh, on the left here, on the top left, you need to click on skills and games. So I need to essentially learn about this new um, brand of lights that I've got. So I'm gonna type in brilliant. There it is, brilliant smart. And here is the application. Okay, so this is Amazon Alexa and the Brilliant Smart. Home products work together to help control the home appliances. So select on that and I'm gonna click on enable to use. It's gonna enable the application. It will now ask you to log in. So you're gonna put in that same um, email address and password that you use to log into the Brilliant Smart app. So if that has worked, you'll see that it's logged you in and now it's going to ask you, do you give it uh, permission? Do you authorize it? So just click ahead uh, on that authorize button. So now the brilliant smart app has now been successfully linked with the Amazon um, software, with the Amazon Alexa software. Now the nice thing is right here, it's going to already ask you whether it wants to discover devices. So we're going to say yes to that. And it's now discovering the devices that it may have found. So you see in my case, it's actually found two different devices. So I'm going to say choose device. There we go. So of top one is it's found a particular device in my living room, but the one that we've obviously configured is kitchen. That is the kitchen light that we've just configured. So I'm going to select that and say set up device. It's already seen that it's a light and I'm going to add it to a particular group. So choose group. Now you see that I've got a few different options here. I'm going to say kitchen. All right, because the light is situated in the kitchen group, which I've already configured. Say so add to group and kitchen has been added to kitchen. Now I probably should have given it a bit of a better, a better name, but I can do that now anyway. Continue. And you'll see that within here, I've got two things. I've got a kitchen echo, which is my actual echo device. And then I've got a light called kitchen, but let's actually call this um, something a bit more meaningful. Let's actually call it that so that it actually uh, makes sense when I talk to it. Okay, done. It's already found some information. It already knows it's a brilliant smart uh, light, the color, it's enabled, etc. If everything works well right from within here, I should be able to be turning the light on and off. 
In my case, it is actually working. Uh, if it's not working for you, you may have to go through this process again, but you should be able to control the brightness right from the app, which is working for me. I can go ahead and change the color to green. And that is working as expected, which is great. So now I should be able to say something um, to my Echo device, to my Amazon Alexa Echo device uh, that correlates to my light and I should be able to do what it needs to do. So let's go ahead and try that. Okay, so our light switch is on. We've already configured the light and we're now just gonna test it. Alexa, turn the kitchen light on. Okay. Alexa, set the kitchen light to red. Okay. Alexa, put the kitchen light to blue. Okay. Alexa, set the kitchen light to white. Okay. Alexa, set the kitchen light brightness to 10%. Okay. Alexa, turn the kitchen light off. Okay. So there you have it, that is the brilliant smart light. That is the basic setup, the configuration, using the, the actual Alexa command to let it know what to do. And I've got to say that the, the whole process was flawless. Um, having used and actually set up and using every single day the more expensive versions of these same lights, the same Wi-Fi LED lights, LED lights, I've got to say these ones are as good. I can't flaw them. I can't justify, I think, going forward, spending three times the price on the light that is doing exactly the same thing. These lights do not need a hub. They just connect straight to your existing Wi-Fi network. You can add them into groups, you can create schedules, you can change the color to millions of different combinations. You've got different moods, different routines, different brightness levels. Uh, I've got to say, they are brilliant, uh, as the name suggests. So look, I mean, they're, they're working great, they feel good, they feel like a very good product, and they're a fraction of the cost. So I think the big guys better get worried because these ones are actually really good, and I really can't justify buying the expensive ones anymore. I will tell you in the next few months, let's, let's give it maybe two, two months, six months to see if the lights are still functioning, whether there's been any problems, but so far, so good, they've been great. Anyway, that's it for now. I would love it if you subscribe to Digital White Computer. Also, um, subscribe to my little, my little indicator light there to let you know when I've got new videos being released. Uh, and also like this video, I'd really appreciate it. Anyway, that's all for now. Thanks for watching again, and we'll see you next time.